Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Simon and today we're going to talk about five, maybe one more bonus one at the end, camping, wild camping tips for beginners. So welcome everyone. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe if you are new and hit the like button if you enjoy the content. The support has been amazing so far. So I would say my tip number one then, and I'm in a local woods near me, my tip number one would be planning. So, I've, and I've learned from this a few times is when I've been on wild camps, I've not done my planning, I've rocked up and winged it and it wastes a lot of time and then you can't always find the location you want and for me that's really important because I tend to like to wild camp on top of like hills and hills for example so you can see the views and all that kind of stuff so planning you can use google maps for that kind of stuff you can click, click on the little sphere one so you can actually see the pictures on there and look at this quag quagmire um, so and then you can get those os maps on your mobile phone for example there are different applications you can use so do plenty of research in advance i would say that's a really good one so then you can get the best experience possible i ought to just mention this is a tag video actually so chris from the height of life check out his channel i'm sorry if i butchered that mate um i think that's the name of your channel it's a really good channel it's got um he does loads of like cool drone shots and all that kind of stuff so he tagged me to do this video and there are a few of these videos doing the rounds and I thought I'd do one because I think for new people it's getting into wild camping it's like a really good incentive to to kind of watch some of these and just look at some good tips really on what's good for wild camping and getting out there if you're if you're kind of new to the hobby especially at the beginning of the year when more people might be getting into it. Second one for me would be a power, and this isn't in order, these are just kind of off the top of my head. So not in order of importance, but bring a power bank. So I've got an Energizer one at the moment. I used to have a RAV power bank, which was pretty good, but actually the Energizer, and I lost it. <laughs> the, but the Energizer one is actually a lot better. It's about the same weight and it charges so fast. Um, and obviously this is for charging things like your GoPro, and importantly your mobile phone because you don't want to be str stranded obviously we go away to kind of get away from these things sometimes but you don't want to be stranded without a mobile phone because then you can't contact people to let them know you're safe so that's a really good tip because i as we know some of the phones don't the battery kind of gets worse and worse on them so yeah take a power bank just to be able to recharge your your electrical goods would be my second tip and then I think tip number three would be repair. So, and by prepare, I mean take plenty of waterproof clothing. I'm pretty bad to be honest at taking a medical kit with me, but I do take an emergency blanket just in case, because you never know, you never know when you're going to need it. Take lots of warm clothing. So when you go up into the mountains and stuff, as we know, the weather can change like just like in an instant so it's always good to be prepared you can get super cold at night so make sure you've done your research check what the weather is and also just prepare for the fact that it could change at any minute take plenty of warm clothing layer up merino wool if that's if that's your thing or synthetics um, down jackets or synthetics uh, warm sleeping bags especially for the winter months would be my suggestion My tip number four would be a good sleep system. So this revolutionized my camping experience. The first time I went camping, I had a Berghaus sleep pad, which was super thin, nothing else, and still really enjoyed it. But as we know, some of the drives to get to the places where we want to camp can be quite considerable. 
not everyone, unless we're really lucky, most people are going to have some kind of drive on their hands and that means longer hours and you're going to be tired the next day. So you want to be able to sleep really well, I think, just to enjoy the experience. So I invested in a, a Thermarest sleep pad to replace the Berghaus and I've since had a couple more sleep pads and a new sleeping bag and a decent pillow and then got an uh, undersheet for going underneath the sleep mat to keep me warm and just so just the, the combination of being comfortable and warm really was the main one really kind of helped the experience and just you know so I live about three and a half hour four hour drive to the from the Peak District so those long journeys back was made way more comfortable by essentially having a really good sleep system so that would be my tip number four right next up I would say is hydration so stay hydrated what I've I've done various things over the years but what I now do is take like a litre and a half of water with me in a big bottle I can slip it into the side of my pack and obstruction I'm gonna stop walking yeah I can just have access to plenty of water I've also got a soya mini which I use to so if there is any lying water around I can filter it if I really need to and, and drink that and I've had I've got an algae bottle so I tend to take about a litre and a half with me in a large bottle then take a smaller bottle and if I'm driving quite far I'll just fill the car up with tons of bottles and drink as much water as I can before I get out of the car because then you're carrying the water and you're just hydrated before you even start so it's a really good start so if you do run out on the trip um, then you know you're kind of sorted in terms of hydration and yeah I think we're lucky in the UK because we can sort of walk to most water sources but you just want to you never know you want to have plenty of water especially in the, the hotter months I'm gonna turn back I can't get through there can't get through there so I, I'd say I'm like yeah and then my tip number six six I think that's the number I'm on is like a bonus one would be I would say uh, have fun so yeah and it kind of links to the hydration point so I always go out and have a couple of beers and just enjoy myself and yeah just try and relax and don't don't take too much things with you because it can be a nightmare to carry up hills um, and try and enjoy yourself try and switch off and get outdoors and have a, have a couple of drinks if that's your thing a couple of beers if that's not your thing and it's not for me at the moment with dry January then um, then maybe take a book something like that I tend to I've watched things like Man in the High Castle and Netflix before and that kind of thing um, and yeah so give that a bash next tip would be don't leave rubbish behind it's annoying okay so next nomination so I'm gonna nominate three people off the top of my head to so you guys have to name your top tap camping tips for beginners top wild camping tips I don't know how many I think it's I think threes uh, rather five seems to be the consensus so I'm gonna say Tom outdoors mate give it give it a bash if you've not check out Tom's channel I'm sure a lot of you will be aware of it it's really cool and he does some good narrative on there of the locations uh, Dave outdoors Dave you've probably been tagged by a million times and you've probably already got this in the pipeline maybe so Give it, a, give it a go mate if you fancy it no pressure anyone and then whoa. Uh, and I'm gonna say Paul Mesner Paul if you if you are watching mate and you got time then uh, yeah you're up as well all right guys that's it for this one stay tuned I'm gonna put together another video for this weekend so this was more of a, a shorter one really and like if you enjoyed the video found this helpful i'd love to hear your comments below on what tips you'd recommend for new people getting into wild camping and subscribe if you are new it really helps to support the channel take care peace out everyone have a good one